back to my channel welcome back to a new vlog i thought i'd vlog for like two or three days um there's a couple of things going on today i'm actually going to a primark event you haven't missed out on much it's about midday now but i basically went to the gym went to Lidl, picked up some stuff and yeah i'm just gonna get ready to go to this primark event it starts at two i do need to go to cos to do a return because i'll do the unboxing with you guys but basically half the stuff was missing so i needed like i ordered sets and then like only one piece came so i was like okay so anyway we'll try it on we'll see maybe i won't have to i mean i have to go and see if i can find the matching because they're co-ords it's really annoying anyway we do kindly have a sponsor for today's video and that is lola rose i received these pieces yesterday i was really really intrigued by the packaging i thought the packaging looked really nice and really high quality now wait until you see the pieces that i picked out and again look at the box really lovely packaging like i love when things have little touches like this because i find it just to set it above the rest these pieces i have a discount code as well i'll pop it on the screen and i'll link it in the description box i will also link the two pieces that i ordered in the description box but look at this i think these are so cute and i'm always on the hunt for really nice jewelry and really nice pieces i'm also really into green at the moment i don't know if anyone has noticed but anyway these are the malachite bead earrings they're 75 on the website i do have a discount code as i said so it may get you a little bit more money off um this brand i can't get it out of the packet hold on <laughs> brand was founded by a lady named Nikki and it's named after her grandma I believe um, and the founder actually did receive an MBE um, for her services so these pieces have got I would say almost like the royal stamp of approval so let me get my scissors because these are very well wrapped these are absolutely gorgeous i cannot wait to wear them so i'm gonna pop these earrings in i like the fact that the butterfly is also like really sturdy it's gonna be a little bit difficult to oh no you're picking it up not bad but yeah the butterfly even is quite sturdy so loving that lovely piece and here is the other one i think these are really really pretty really really pretty and so the other piece of jewelry that i got to go with it is the matching necklace i typically do stack my necklaces but i feel like this is such a beautiful piece especially as i'm wearing it with the earrings that i just want to wear the two of them as they are one thing i like about this necklace is the chain detail on the back so it's not just like your normal average chain it has this extra detailing on it, these squares, and I think it just makes it a little different. I also like the fact that these pieces came really, really well packaged. Um, so there's nothing wrong with them. They're in perfect nick. I just love, I'm well into my jewelry at the minute. I really am. Some may say a bit too well packaged. I can't even get this out. My nails are too long, but I literally just had them redone. Next time, I think I need to get them shorter. So yeah, I thought I'd bring you guys in closer just to see what both of these pieces look like on. Here is a close up of the necklace and I absolutely love it. And then the earrings. If you're interested, they do have these earrings on the website. I think they've got a couple of colours, but the other one that I was looking at was like a blue. And it's such a lovely striking blue. But like I said, I've got a real obsession with green at the moment. So for me, I thought that the green would be perfect. And I love the fact that I've been able to get the matching necklace. I think the necklace is around 88 on the website. But in any event, I'm going to link it in the description box along with my discount code. So I want to say thank you to the team at Lola Rose for kindly sponsoring this video. Um, just to also quick run through what comes in the box because you basically get a little card within the box and i'm sorry the box is so nice like this will look really nice on like your dresser or something like that um but basically you get a warranty repair form um, and then you also get a little bit more information about their process and um, it tells you what the multiple manufacturer processes are um, and just like a little bit of um care guide for your pieces so yeah thank you again to the team at lola rose i love these pieces i think you guys are going to see me wearing them quite a lot they just scream chic money anyway per usual my battery is about to die i really don't like this camera very much anymore um but yeah my cos order is sitting there so let's maybe i'll move to the living room actually let's unbox it and see what's in there see what we're keeping um and then i think we need to actually start heading out and getting on the way to primark because i think i might end up going to cos first and i also want to pop into mango so yeah let's see what cos is saying 
Okay, so I think what I might do is I might unbox and then try it all on for you guys in the living room. See what the light is like in there. But let me unbox it here in any of them. Okay, so the first thing I'm really, really interested in because Cos did a collab with a designer named Linda Farrow and I've heard so much about I think she only does sunglasses I, th I think I'm not too sure but I've heard a lot about them and I've seen them like for, for time and I'm like why don't I own a pair so anyway maybe because they're expensive but anyway she's done a collab with Cos so the prices I'm gonna link them but I feel like they were reasonable I think they were around 100 which i think is reasonable by comparison to what her sunglasses usually cost um first of all box packaging 10 out of 10 i'm obviously a sucker for packaging today but look this feels like a leather travel pouch or sunglasses pouch which i think is great you've got the gold writing on it so i think this is so far so good i think there are about three different pairs on the website um and this is the pair that i went for and Rob, are they dirty? Ciao. No, <laughs> they're actually not. Um, but this is the pair that I went for. They're like an aviator style. Um, I'm, I don't know the exact name, but as I said, I'm going to link everything in the description box. They're very, very 70s. Nice mechanism. So, you, okay, sorry. I'm getting to that age where things like this matter. Okay. What do we think? Hmm. Oh, I think they're too big. They're just a tad, tad, tad too big. <sighs> what do you guys think? I think they're just a teeny, teeny tad too big, but I feel like, is that the vibe? Is that the look? Comment, let me know. I think, like I said, they're around 100, but I will be popping them in the description box for you guys. I do certainly like the travel case. <laughs> I wish I could keep the case, even if I don't keep the glasses. But what do we think? I think they're kind of cute, but I think I will need to make a decision because I'm not too, too sure. And then here is my order, right? Honestly, I don't actually know. If someone has placed an order and there are codes in that order, how dare you cancel them and then send out like one piece. And the kicker is, yeah. So for instance, I bought this. This was in the sale. I feel like this could be from the men's section. I'm not too sure. I'm shopping in any section right now. It don't really matter. But the kicker is I bought the shorts twice because I was like, I'm going to try two sizes. And I only bought the shirt once. And the shirt is the item that got cancelled. So I'm just like, anyway, it's this jacquard um, sort of palm print. I don't think they are like they're like an imitation silk I want to say so I picked this out in a medium and then I also picked it out in a small and then I did also order the bloody matching shirt man and it didn't come and the thing is they also had this in like a creamy color so anyway I feel like the small is actually a good size but I think this is a perfect holiday piece and the thing with it as well is like it'll be a nice holiday piece but it'll be a nice piece that you can sort of still wear at home too i just think this as a cover-up or like with the shirt it just would have been nice but anyway we'll try that on yeah we'll just try that on with a vest top and then this order is really a load of cock and ball now to be honest um this is definitely from the men's section i saw it on the website and i was like oh by the way the shorts that i just showed you they're definitely in the sale but i'll link them I don't think this was in the sale. This is £59 for these shorts. I've got them in a small. And um, the only reason why I just went for the small right off to bat with this is because it is in the men's section. If it was the female section, I would have probably tried the small and the medium. But I saw this and I thought, ooh, this is actually quite nice, you know. Matching top in a size small also. And how much is this? Just the quality feels quite nice as well. So this is 69 um but i think something like this can be kind of cute so we have that as a set and then lastly this was also supposed to be a set i picked out these trousers and the thing that i was most excited about with these trousers was the matching asymmetric top bandeau top that it came with but the top got cancelled so i have the trousers and i have the trousers in a 36 which is a 10 
Yeah, these are kind of cute. How much are they actually? Before we, okay, they're 89, which is not bad. We'll throw this on. We'll style them up and see. But what do we think? These are kind of nice. So a very quick shopping haul. I went to Lidl, so I have eggs, mini tortilla wraps, coriander, mint, cabbage, corn on the cob, red onion, garlic, two avos, these um, soft baked things, and then some ginger. I'm gonna make a tea, because I've got some oranges that are sitting up on the windowsill and they're getting a bit worse for wear. So I'm gonna make this tea thing. Okay, so the weather looks like it seems to be trying to pick up out there. So I'm gonna pick an outfit um because the last thing i want is to wear like a pair of jeans and then just be sweating as i'm like bopping around and i think i'm probably going to walk from yeah i'm going to be doing a lot of steps so i want to find something that is going to work but i also don't want to be shall i wear a blazer I don't know, the thing that's annoying me is this really ought to be the outfit that I wear, but I picked out the skirt in a size 10 and it's just a little bit too big. So I actually need to take this with me to see if I can find it in the shop in an eight, because otherwise this would have been the most perfect outfit. Hmm. Okay, I've decided on this dress. This I picked up from ASOS, uh, probably around a year or the, maybe last year or the year before, I wanna say. Maybe the year before. But I've gone with this just because even if it does get a bit nippy out of here, there's a lot of fabric on this dress. I'm just gonna wear my sandals, even though my toes for sure need to be redone. Also, uh, when I went to the South of France, I went to a perfume like factory and it was called Fragonard and I did pick out a perfume and I haven't actually worn it yet. I picked out two um, but this is the one that is the Puffum and the other one is just a toilette. This is a 30 mil and what one did I get? Okay I got Heliotrope Gingembra. Gingembra? I don't know mate. <laughs> Just get a look at that. That's what it is. I don't know how to do the pronunciation thing. Anyway, um, I don't think I remember. Oh yeah, it's nice. There are so many in there though. It's so difficult to pick. I really could have bought a lot more. Mm, this is nice really nice and I don't want to mix it even though I typically mix all of my scents I'm just going to leave it there I'm going to pack my bag I'm just bringing my face powder which is my Kosas Peuge my lip combo that I've been wearing for quite a while is chestnut and then I got this uh, Bobbi Brown I hadn't actually ever tried anything from Bobbi Brown and then they sent me a few bits so this is the crushed oil infused lip gloss in New Romantic and I really like it and I'm carrying this little bag here so yeah, let's get going.
bright it is in the living room now and I'm not filming in here. I filmed in here earlier for the cos bits that I shared with you and it was very dark and <laughs> now all of a sudden it's super bright. But anyway, it's about five o'clock now and I'm home back from the Primark event. Sheree came and met me there. Um, she didn't get on the vlog this time. I don't know if I'm going to run because we've got a dinner on Monday with the Primark team. So um, if I'm still running the vlog then, then she'll make an appearance, but she may or may not. I do have a goodie bag to share with you guys. I'm actually just thinking from the last Primark event that I went to, which I did vlog, it will be in another vlog though. Um, I picked up some stuff for my sister and I'm just wondering if I gave it to her already. One sec, sorry. To be fair, and again, I'm sorry for this angle. To be fair, I'm not sure if I showed you guys what I picked up for my sister in the other event. The other event was a Barbie Primark event on the rooftop and um, Sheree picked up a goodie bag because I was chatting away, I think I was chatting away to Josephine because I hadn't seen her in a while. So Sheree noticed that the little like pick and mix section was getting <laughs> dangerously low. So she threw some bits into a bag for me, um, which I'm gonna give to my sister. So there's this Barbie sun hat. All of this stuff, by the way, like is branded Barbie. Like it's not a copy, it's not a rip off, it's actual like Mattel Barbie stuff. So I've got this bucket hat, which is supposed to be 10 pounds. Um, some laptop stickers for two pounds i'm not gonna lie i really really because you guys know me i love pink and i love barbie and i actually really want the actual like main barbie sticker but i've already showed my sister so um i can't really like take it out anyway <laughs> i picked up this barbie iphone case i'm not too sure which iphone my sister has but we're just going to try it out anyway um and then there's a face massager um because you've got to get these girls into their self-care from young, right? And taking time out to, you know, anyway. And then this stick of the self-care is a gentle exfoliating glove. Um, it feels very, very gentle, actually. So this is 250. So that's all the stuff from the Barbie event. And then, of course, you get the Barbie tote as well, which hopefully by the time this vlog goes up, there'll still be some available. This is four pounds. Um, but from the event today, um, so typically how it works, like when you go to, so this event was at the showroom and I've been to the showroom before, um, they like put on like DJs, there's food, the food was quite nice, although I'm actually making tacos for dinner, so I'm going to have basically eaten tacos all day. Anyway, um, but like usually there's like little picky bits that you can pick and put in a bag. This time around they had that as well as, I think there's a gift card in the bag as well, and then we were also able to pick up band teas so i picked up this two pack one which is 12 pounds medium 12 to 14 so i grabbed this one because i love i feel like in england we say two pack but i know it's park <laughs> i just feel so silly <laughs> okay let me know anyway i picked up the britney one because listen britney was a vibe growing up so yeah I picked this one up this is a medium as well it's meant to be 13 pounds medium is a 12 to 14 and I love like my oversized long tees just to wear about the flat I don't know yeah this is not a long one this is just like to wear with cycling shorts I think I picked up yeah and picked up another one as well this is also okay so this is a large sorry 12 pounds this is not a long tea, it's just a normal size tea. And then onto all of the goodies. So much goodies in here. Okay, so we have individual, I'm not come up close actually. So we picked up some individual lashes. Primark have these little uh, rollable perfumes. These are only 250, so I picked up one of those. Um, some Aviator Sunnies. All of this stuff is really for my sister, to be honest. I picked out like two two things. Um, there's this charm changeable bracelet. It's almost too bright in here, I wanna say now. Another little, actually, do you know what? Okay, so I thought I'd just lay it out on the sofa and just draw the curtain, which by the way, I still need to go to Ikea and pick up more because I don't have enough. But anyway, this is what I picked out. I picked out these claw clips. 
Uh, they're 3 50 and they just come in a pack of two. I picked up a hydrate sheet mask. So these I'm going to give to my sister, everything I'm going to give to my sister with the exception of this power bank because I need a little mini portable slim design power bank. I picked up a few pairs of sunnies. I think I might actually keep these pink ones because I think they're quite fun and I have a trip coming up. These I think are meant to be a dupe for the Glow Recipe um, serum. So I have the watermelon dewy skin drops. How much is this? Does it say? Okay, this doesn't actually say um and is this revolution it might be revolution i'm not too sure anyway how cool are these by the way press on now so i think they're a really nice design i picked up a few lippies this is the one that i actually kind of want even though i got two of these by mistake and um, they have these perfume rollables they have a body mist um a little compact square mirror the anklet i think i'm gonna keep for myself um, the lengthening mascara, this looks like a dupe for like, it looks like Charlotte Tilbury packaging basically. Um, the bracelet that I showed you, some more bracelets, some individual lashes, a phone charm and a watermelon fragranced balm, perfumey thing. Um, so all stuff that my sister will really like actually. And then this, this is really cute. I got this as well. Um, and then they also gave us a gift card which was really kind and really generous. So um, yeah, I'm really excited that I was able to go to that event. I am home now, so I'm just gonna pop these. I don't know if I should put them. I'm not gonna lie, to put some of this down until Christmas <laughs> for stocking fillers, but we're just in July, so. I won't do that, but I really, really, really want to. Um, but no, I won't, I'll just. I'll give it to my sister now, but it's paining me because all of these are great stocking fillers. Anyway, let me know. But Primark is always the go-to when it comes to like, if you've got younger siblings and stuff, Primark is the one because there's so many little bits and bobs in there and you can make like really great gifts and really great stocking fillers. So yeah, my sister's going to be very lucky and very spoiled and get all of this now for like no good reason. But um, yeah, I'm going to have a shower I'm gonna cook my tacos. I'm like, do I really want tacos again now? But that's what I had my heart set on. I mean, my ones are slightly different. So, okay, yeah, I'm gonna shower, take my makeup off, take the day off, and yeah, I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. I, I don't think I'm gonna vlog the tacos. Maybe I'll just vlog the end result because I've already vlogged me making these tacos and I use the same recipe every single time. Um, so I probably won't, but um, yeah, I'm gonna chill, have a glass of rosé with some strawberries in it and package all this up. And yeah, I'll see you guys in a sec. <laughs> festival and I left my camera right here on the bed so I've got some clips on my phone which you may or not may or may not have already just seen but I am home now my outfit of the day because it was really dark and overcast earlier it's just these baggy trousers from Zara and then my and other stories tank top which I absolutely love this is such a lovely fit in lovely quality tank top of course jewelry wise I wore my Lola Rose pieces and they are still going strong. I love these pieces, they're so, so pretty. So yeah, you didn't miss out on much. This morning I filmed, what did I film? I filmed like an occasion wear haul, um, but I'm home now. I'm gonna do an unboxing with you guys because I went to the food festival, as I said, and I picked up a couple of pieces and then I did manage to grab hold of a girls too good to go bag. 
um, so we'll unbox all that. Let's go to the kitchen actually. And the funny thing is I ended up packing the tripod, <laughs> not the camera. So um, yeah, that was very silly of me. Okay, let me grab the stuff. Okay, so from the food festival, I actually didn't grab too much stuff, but I picked out this. It is a garlic salt or a chili salt rather. <laughs> don't even know what I picked up. I think this is four or five pounds, but it's vegan, preservative free, artisan, and small batch um, Himalayan salt and dried chilies. Looks really good, so I grabbed that. This is my favorite stuff. I don't know how you pronounce it. I feel like it's, I don't know if you pronounce the J. It's Tajin, Tajin, I don't know. But anyway, I love this. And he also gave me a mini one as well. He was like, just hook it on your belt loop. I was like, well, this is perfect for travel. But anyway, um, yeah, I picked this up. This is really nice. I like it over my mango. Um, and you guys know I always have mango here. So I picked up those. There was obviously way more to pick out. Um, my, I left my camera, as I said, and then my phone was on like hardly any percentage. I ended up leaving it with the guys at the rum <laughs> without ended up leaving it with the guys at the rum shack to charge for like half an hour 40 minutes while I like walked around so I couldn't get any footage on that and I also like then therefore didn't have any money because my cards anyway um this is still water in a can by a brand called Cano Water the team at Cano Water were lovely we were chatting with them quite a bit and then girls but before I show you what I got in my girls box I did go to M&S and I saw my vegetarian pasta bake um, reduced. You guys know I love a good reduced buy. This is three pounds down from 6.25. This is my favorite, favorite thing ever. I know it's just a veggie pasta bake, but it's just so good. Um, and then I also picked up my mum's birthday card because I saw it in there and I thought, that's perfect. I think they, I feel like they donate some of this to the RSPCA. I should hope so anyway, we all love cats, so does my mum, so I've got my mum her birthday card. And then, the girl's too good to go bag. This was a fiver by the way, and there's only three things in here, so I'm a little bit like, hmm. First up we have the beetroot, lentil, and goat's cheese salady thing. I don't really like beetroot like that. So that's a bit of a myth. Um, yeah, I don't really feel like I really like beetroot. So um, I think my partner's gonna end up eating that. Then we have an almond croissant. Lovely, all those. And then we have a loaf of sourdough bread. I don't know what one it is. All of their bread's pretty good if I'm gonna be honest, so that is what's in my girls too good to go bag but that is it for me i'm going to end this vlog here i hope you guys have enjoyed it thank you to the team at lola rose for kindly sponsoring i'm going to leave the pieces linked in the description box my discount code everything like pertaining to them will be in the description box and thank you to them for working with me on the ad on this video but that's it for me please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up Make sure my IG is followed if you don't want to miss out on anything. It's Raquel.Saul. I link everything in the description box, basically. I'm <laughs> description box queen. So if you have any questions, just check it out. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you very, very soon. Bye.